I think this, you know, every time postseason, obviously we get excited because now we're really highlighting and, uh, you know, our stars and, and the better teams. But, you know, Zach Wheeler, to me, is very interesting how he got here, right? 2013, San Francisco Giants gets traded for Carlos Beltran. Gets to the Mets, has Tommy John surgery in 15, debuts uh, in, in, in that year. He ends up getting two years, roughly, Dero of out, right? Because if you remember, in t in, after 2019, 18, 19, he was good. Yeah. And the uncertainty for the Mets was, will he be healthy? What's the longevity? The Phillies go out and give him a five-year deal. And everybody's like, wow, okay. 118. I 118. remember it. I remember it coming across the ticker and was like, whoa. Okay. Yeah. So with the debut in 13 and then, then you know, last two years, uh, good with the Mets. So we remember this group. Syndergaard, Matt Harvey, DeGrom, Mats. You know, let's see how this plays out for a few more years. But this guy's emerging, as Lauren just alluded to, is one of the best. Yes. Right? So a couple things that stand out to me on this here is that you got a guy that is understanding of where you are in your career. And sometimes you have to make some adjustments, or in this case, add a pitch. And that's going to be the kind of highlight of my... Of, Going of, sweeper? Yes. But look right. at this, guy. I, I know we talked about this, and, you know, we're at the World Series last year watching. This is a great fan base. I know there's a lot of great fan bases around, around Major Leagues, but this place is crazy. So he's feeling it, confident, as he should be. I wanted to go to Luis Arise first at bat. 98-mile-an-hour, cheese down and away. Hee-haw. This guy's one of the best uh, hitters in the game. Missed. God, that is Barely. not a ball. Barely, right? 98.6. Uh. Boom! Arise goes left field. Nice little line out. Nice play. So I'm saying, okay, stop right there, please. So the guys it, behind him actually peaked, and they were seeing 98, 98, 98. And the post game was, he's got his stuff because they know that with his with his slider and now sweeper that I'll talk about. But this is a plus arm that oh. showed right away electric. All right, go ahead. Uh, just showing electric. Arm side, glove side fastballs. He took advantage of eventually an aggressive team, and I'll say young, inexperienced team, of, of, of pitching and getting ahead. I did, not a whole lot of sliders. Josh Bell ended up getting a couple hits in this game, but one of uh, very few chains of like back door. Now. Yes. All right, stop right here. So I want to, before we get going, through four innings, and we talk about this a lot as pitchers. Efficiency. What do you, what do you try to do if you're coaching your kid or the team? Strike one. Get ahead. Get ahead, and how many outs can I get with three pitches or less? Yeah. There's organizations that actually develop pitchers in the minor leagues and say, I don't care about innings. I don't care about strikeouts. How many of the batters you face, you could go three pitches or less? So it eliminates basically strikeouts, right? Ugh. How Wait. about win the game and get out? But you know what? There are some guys, for the most part, you want that. But if there's a guy that's nibbling and thinking that he's got a, the Hall of Fame pitch every time, seven of 14 batters he faced in four innings. Three pitches or less. <clears throat> you talk about efficiency, Greg Maddox-like stuff, that your, your old teammate. All right, go ahead. This is the pitch here. Caleb Cotham got to Zach Wheeler this spring and said, hey, look, you throw really hard. Your curve ball, your slider's really hard. Occasional change. We need to get horizontal depth. So here, let me take a look at this right here. This was in a bat in the sixth inning. Stop right here. Oh. We got, we got sixth inning, he's super efficient, right? Seventh inning, end up uh, getting uh, out of the game with a couple hits here. Watch his sequence here uh, as he pitches to... Did you see the first pitch, 96 two-seamer that moved four feet? Watch this. Keep going. Yeah. Run that. All right, so... <laughs> so down in the zone, actually got a strike there probably. Tunnel the There's your off. sweeper. Well, now, now watch through here. 0 1 sweeper, miss. 1 1 sweeper, miss. Heater. So that lower break it. Heater, good swing. How do you take that swing on there? Yeah, you can't miss that. Stop right there. So that fastball by design, this is a by design. When you're a veteran pitcher, guy has a good swing on it. Pow! It looks kind of like he's on time, right? A little bit toward the first base dugout. Right, High I haven't cheese. seen this. I haven't seen your tape, but I would say to myself, he's elevating to get back to the sweeper. But top six, up three nothing with one out. I don't want to walk for this. Which tells you next level stuff for a Zach Wheeler. Which if I'm him, I'm on cheese. Go ahead. Go ahead. Boom! Yeah, I'm out striking front. out too. Punches him out. Next guy. Tip your hat. Sixth inning. Ground ball, first pitch arise. Two, uh, they said a four-seamer, but that, that to me was a two-seamer down and away. Wheeler comes out, couple outs in the seventh, gets out. 
Let's see here. This is a little bit offset. Let me ask you a question seven. before we get into this. Go back to that Fortis at bat. You don't have to run the tape back to it. If he walks him, he dirt balls that sweeper in that spot and walks him. That's a bad look. It is a bad look. But you know what? If every single time you get on the mound, and I'm thinking, which is a lot of young guys do, they'll go, gosh, I know that I, I shouldn't get down. Walk him with a slider, a curveball, a changeup. Yeah. But I feel like it's the right pitch. I got Harvey Dorfman in my a head right now. He said it doesn't pitch matter. Is always the right pitch. 100%. I don't care, respective of the scoreboard, the count, or any of it. If you believe that's the pitch, you throw it. That's why I got you going. Against the Cubbies in Chicago, 3 2 curveball. I threw to Moises Alou when I was with the Mets and banged it. I think it might even have been bases loaded. May, see if I was lying on that. <laughs> go ahead. All right, so. All right, I wanted to go side by side. Back up, please. And I know this is a little fugazi here because he's a little off, but that we couldn't get. I wanted the zoom. Go ahead and play it at release point and stop. Okay, back it up. One. Beautiful. Okay, so in order to get horizontal, vertical, horizontal, right? Yeah. Horizontal, vertical. You have to get off the side of it a little bit. So this is really important because with Zach Wheeler at 33 years old, been in the big leagues for a fair amount of time, he's got a pitch and goes, so you know what? We gotta get we gotta get more of this as opposed to this. He's got like what they call gyro, right? A yeah. little breaking ball that goes down. So this right here, you won't see it a whole lot, maybe in the next next uh, video. Go ahead and play it, please. You have to get off the side of it a little bit, and that's a feel. You And this is a new pitch. This is like, he's a 97, 98 with a 91 mile an hour slider, and he's now throwing an 84 mile an hour. I'm sorry, I'll play a long sweeper. It's just a, it's a side to side uh, slurb. slider that becomes slurvy. Okay, go ahead and play it. I think we have a, another one uh, coming out of here. Yeah, that's all. That's all I want to say. All right, all right. That, that's good. <laughs> get off to the side of it. You get more, more horizontal. And I'm praising a guy that's been pitching for a while and is able to identify how do I make it a little easier on myself. He's added it. I know this is in game one. It's respective of his pitches. And then the righty lefty is really a thing because right handed pitch, right handed hitters, that's where he throws it. Uh, oh, mostly, right? is he a 70% heater? Yeah, yeah. Oh, game one, yeah. That was game one. But still, this is, you know, we're getting guys, even guys with plus velocity over 94 plus, they're they're right around the 50% 50, 50 mark. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, he's one, of, a, he's hey. one of the elite starters in the game. We were sitting there. If you got game one, he took game one from Nola, right? He's kind of overtaken Nola as yeah. their guy. See where he goes next year, right? Yeah. Which is super interesting. I'm saying you Wheeler, Corbin Burns. Is there a difference? Yeah, Corbin Burns, his fastball cuts. I know there's a difference with, but I'm saying who do you want on the bump in a big spot? That's what I'm saying. He's getting he's gotten to that level. Yes, yes, yes. Good call. Good, good, good point. 